Hello, everybody. It's Cody, plain and simple. And um, today is starting out to be a rough day. Um, I This almost should be a continuation of the video I did. Why don't you just? But this one kind of falls under subsection, the little things. Sometimes people will see you on one day. And you're energetic, you're spry. Yes, I did just say spry. Um, you're energetic, you're spry, and uh, you know you got a fire lit under you. You could, I can move around pretty decently for me. And um, then you have days like today. I almost couldn't record this video because I'm having trouble even holding up my arms and. Uh, I'm holding the phone now, but my hands are resting against my stomach. Um, energy wanes a lot. Sometimes you just never know how you're going to feel until you wake up, or in some cases, you can start the first half of the day feeling like crap, like I do now. Somewhere along the way, it picks up. Um... And then it could go the other way. You start off great, wind up feeling like crap. This um, disease is just really, really unpredictable once you get to certain stages. Um, recently, I had some sort of really odd heart palpitation, but of course someone will say oh well go see a doctor or go to the hospital well my regular uh, physician uh, is with DeKalb Medical and they've merged with Emory which has caused a horrible backlog um, with the computer systems so they're backdated to about 3-4 months out for appointments and instead of taking their normal load of patients they only are taking about a handful a day, if that many. Um, I'm actually on the books for three months from now, just for the sake of being, being on the schedule, unless something becomes available sooner. Um, ER, not really an option because again, little things nobody really thinks about. I, as I pointed out before, I have a hospital bed in my room, but it's also cushioned, and I also have a uh, button where I can automatically make it go up and down. When you first arrive in the hospital and they put you in an exam room, the first room you go into after the waiting room, those beds now, at least the ones at the Cab Medical at Emory, they're manually operated and the manual switch for them is behind the head board so I would have to reach up and over my head over the back to feel for a lever back there and honestly um, I'm not that agile so it takes a second person if I get hungry and need something to eat which almost inevitably will happen as long as you're at the hospital um and then there's even things as simple as trying to use the bathroom even if you have a urinal still probably going to need a head so that's just to say at this stage that's not something I could do myself and if you're going to ask about my mom there's something else you need to understand my mother has her own issues with her back and does not need to constantly lift my wheelchair. And even though, yes, they do have wheelchairs at the uh, hospital, okay, fine, let's say get one of those. But while I'm in the process of waiting to be seen, anybody else could tell you a visit to the ER, you could just write off about four or five hours off the top. And the little chair that they give you even the ones in the waiting room are not that great for long-term sitting. So that will wind up being another problem for my mom. So then there's urgent care. Probably the best option. Well, now the problem is who can go with me? Because 
again, now there's the issue of the wheelchair. And I've never been to urgent care, so I don't know if they keep their own wheelchairs there. But uh, there's the wheelchair, and then there's the waiting situation. And uh, from what I understand, it probably won't take as long as the uh, hospital ER. But again, it probably be just better if somebody went with me. Everybody I know that could possibly do that either lives far away or they have their own job, they have their own kids and stuff. And I know that there's actually some people that would help me and have helped me before. Um, but they have their own lives. Um, and what, what I'm not even about to get started on help from agencies because you have to usually have private insurance or Medicaid and (laughs) at 40 years old I was told basically by Medicaid that I was too young and I'm like oh word younger people don't have health issues I gotcha but um yeah so running low on energy Blood pressure has been way too high for at least about the past week now. I know all the different things that that could potentially mean, but um, I'm doing all that I can do and holding on to my faith. I know that sometimes we get kind of close to the wire, but... (laughs) I've read and know of too many biblical stories where either God saved somebody the instant before something happened, like with Abraham and Isaac, and he stopped him with uh, from striking him with the knife. And then sometimes when you actually go through something and you think it's the end, it's not. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego in the furnace. And death isn't even necessarily the head. Tell that to Jesus and also tell that to Lazarus. Jesus let Lazarus die and he was dead for four days and well into his grave. Jesus got about anyway. So a lot of things biblically tell you that these things you can have if you believe. And I done heard everybody's opinion from other Christians to atheists get all in between and that's fine I'm not here to change their minds I'm here to stay grounded in my faith I still believe that if the devil could have actually taken me out he'd have done it well before now but I'm protected so he can't and that's just where I stand on it so yeah I have rough days like today days where I don't even feel strong enough to take my medication and it's literally sitting on my lap but this too shall pass so one way or the other I am going to be fine may take a couple hours who knows but I am okay because I'm still here I'm okay because I'm still even able to make this video and if I absolutely positively need to I know I can still stand on my feet so when people ask me how are you doing and I say well I'm alive and still standing that's not just a little casual greeting I mean it so just like anybody else some days are good some days are bad but at least we still have them these days And if we are still alive, it is still another opportunity for things to get better. This ain't the end. Far, far from it.